Hey guys, welcome to the Fire Tonight channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I really want to get 4000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. It's so close. Thanks for supporting me, guys. Legendary American boxer Bernard Hopkins told about his conversation with the Starlight Weight Ryan Garcia at a press conference dedicated to his upcoming fight against Gervonta Davis. When I first came to Garcia's press conference with Davis, I immediately talked to Ryan. When I arrived here, I went up to him and his father and said, the car doesn't work without an engine, and you have to understand that. Ryan needs to be let know that this is his weight class. I asked, Ryan, can you prove it to me? He said he could. Hopkins said, recall that the Ryan Garcia Jarwanti Davis fight was officially announced on April 22nd. Early Shane Mosley sees that the chances of Davies and Garcia in the upcoming fight. 33-year-old former world champion Adrian Brunner did not remain a free agent for a long time. As reported early, the famous American signed a promotional agreement with Don King Productions. The deal was announced on Tuesday. Here is how the boxer himself commented on his decision. I had a great camp with Kevin Cunningham and I can't wait to get back in the ring, to win the championship title and constantly defend it, or to combine titles is what I strive for. Brunner posted a photo on social networks where he is sitting at a table next to the legendary promoter, and in front of them are solid bundles of $100 bills. It feels like you and King are the same age. Gervonta Davies commented on this photo. Why did Adrian Brunner sign a contract with Don King? Wonders O'Hara Davies. Is Don King still signing contracts and paying fighters in cash? Sergio Mora is surprised. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please, subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 4000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. I'm trying very hard absolutely every day and I need your support. Your likes, comments, repost to social networks. Thanks for supporting me, guys. The absolute world champion in the second middleweight Mexican Saul Alvarez shared his opinion about the fight between Americans Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia. Canelo believes that the fighters have an equal chances of winning this confrontation, so he refused to name the winner. Ryan is a very good fighter, he has fast hands and is strong. Anything can happen in this fight. Gervonta Davis has to be wary, very careful. Tank has more experience and has conducted more test battles. That's why Davis is the favorite, but I find it difficult to name a winner. In any case, it will be a good confrontation, Alvarez said. Former world champion Paul Melignaggi speculated about the favorite of the fight between top American lightweight punchers Ryan Garcia and Gervonta Davis. If we take this fight, then I have doubts here. At first I bet on the tank, but then, the more I watch Garcia, the more I doubt Gervonta. Ryan knows how to box ink and hit hard from a long distance, whereas the tank swings for a long time and it's difficult for him to fight with tall guys. If Davies harnesses for a long time, it will do him a disservice, because Ryan has enough power in his fists to knock out Tank. You know, Gervonta doesn't have the best footwork, this is one of his flaws. I don't think he is terrible on his feet, but he is slow. Yes, he has fast hands, but he doesn't close the distance well. Davis looks like he never worries about anything. It feels like uh, he knows how he's going to knock you out sooner or later. But with a fighter like Ryan Garcia, he can't help but worry. If he allows Ryan to feel comfortable, he will only need a couple of punches to deal with Davis, Malin Yadra said. Gervonta Davis. Ryan Garcia fight is definitely big for boxing. We are both hungry and explosive. Gervonta Davis walked into the Beverly Hilton for the secondary leg of his kickoff press tour to announce his April 22nd fight against Ryan Garcia with gamesmanship top of mind. Davis donned a decades old t-shirt featuring the face of Garcia promoter Oscar de la Hoya 
I can't tell you my source, man. You can't get this. You ain't going to see anybody else with this. David told Boxing Sans in an interview when he was asked how he attended the shot. Davis and De La Hoya keep it a cardinal toward one another during their public pleasantries. But the same cannot be said for the future red headliners, who will be meeting in Las Vegas at the T-Mobile Arena on Showtime pay-per-view. He is not ready, he is gassing himself up. He is nervous, he is trying to act like someone he is not, say Davis. I know for sure that's not him, he is just trying to get hyped for his people. I see somebody that's pretending when I look in his eyes. I know when someone is pretending. The only dislike I have toward him is him pretending to be something he is not. As far as everything else, I don't dislike him. I don't know him. He is just a fighter. The 28-year-old Davies and the 24-year-old Garcia will be meeting in 136-pound catchweight bowl. Davies acknowledged that he forced Garcia to cater to his contractional demands. Chief among them was rematch clause that can be exercised only if Davies loses, as well as a 10-pound regeneration limit for the next day morning wedding. The pay-per-view even is also produced by Showtime, the network aligned with Davies and Premier Boxing Champions. He is the one he praised at for the fight and kept calling my name out. And he got it, said Davies. It's definitely important for us because you have two young guys who are undefeated and fighting to put their zero on the line. We are both hungry. It's definitely big for the sport. He is explosive. I'm explosive. It's going to be an early night when I knock him out, Davis said. Gervonta Davis believes Ryan Garcia earned the right to face him. His speed? Not worthy. His power? Undeniable. His skills? Remarkable. But even with Ryan Garcia reeling off 23 consecutive victories to start his career, thanks to his celebrity status on social media, countless prognosticators and fans have openly questioned whether or not he is done enough to earn a shot at one of boxing's premier stars, Gervonta Davis. On April 22nd, at a T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, the two widely popular fighters will square off at a catch weight of 136 pounds. Although the 24-year-old Garcia has expressed an overwhelming amount of confidence in his ability to stop Davis in his tracks, the betting world isn't believing his audacious words one beat, pegging him as an underdog. Still, in spite of odds makers standing firmly in his corner, and regardless of the long line of dictators going against Garcia, Davis isn't buying into the narrative that Garcia isn't an elite fighter. He's legged, like say Davis to a group of reporters recently. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.